Hey, good morning everybody. Today we're doing a video on the Tully. We're underneath very, 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 very popular area, the red covered bridge. It gets pounded by guys. There's a blue heron over there fishing. <laughs> but we got some fish rising here. Um, should be on trichos. Um, Put a half dozen or more right here in the front, right next to shore, and um, we're gonna go out there for them. I gotta set my rod up though. I'm using my eight and a half or eight foot four um, two weight Orvis Helios two, and um, so we're gonna go after these guys. I think I'm actually gonna use eight X, and uh, gotta be gentle with the hook set. But um, so let's get out here and see what we can do. Okay, that's a trout. I usually don't like that's a trout too. Like I said, they're just dip after you. I mean, I've seen rises here for years and years, decades. <laughs> so I can kind of pick out what are panfish rises and what are what are uh, trout rises, even if they're dimples. Um, I don't like throwing upstream to them, but oh well, don't have a choice. Let's see what's on the water here. I know there's some. Caddis shucks. Caddis shucks. I know there's probably some trachos coming down. I actually don't, even though the fish go in a frenzy when the trachos are heavy and the whole, the whole, um, these are rising right out. The whole, uh, surface is carpeted with trachos. But man, they get picky. I like it when it's like this. And I like it at the end, at the end of the, um, uh, uh, hatch uh, the spinner fall because then then they get a little bit more opportunistic but man when there is just a carpet of trachos coming down you don't have to match it perfect but man you gotta more so you have to get in the rhythm of they come up down up down up down and your flies gotta come over them when they're coming up <laughs> just and trying to time that rhythm is just chance luck <laughs> that's all it is <laughs> So let's, I don't like this presentation. I'm gonna make this as an upstream presentation. I like downstream better, but let's go for it. Okay, we got about a four or five of them right out here. And with trachos, they usually roam. So let's see. Like I said, I'm using 8X. And I did not treat my, um, I did not treat my cutthroat for a leader, but that's okay. I don't I don't really care. Flies floating great. Nice beautiful drag free drift. And like I said, I'm using 8X for a tippet. Oh, there's a nice boy out there. That's a nice fishy. Um my leader. I, including my uh, cutthroat for a leader is about 12 foot and uh, so boom that's a good one see if they come up for that and with this 8x you gently lift the rod come on guys Okay, a couple drifts over them, man. I shut them down. Uh. See if these guys come on, come on. Oh, they moved out a little further, another foot or two. Boom. There he goes, got him, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> that was a nice fish. That was, that was mid-teens, 14, 15 inch fish. That was a nice fish. I hope he didn't 
hope it just came off of his lip. I ate that. I didn't. Jeez. That, nope. He took my fly. Oh. 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 That was not fun. He took my fly. Oh, jeez, oh man. Something weird. It, it, he curled up my whole line there. Something probably I caught him and it looks like the the um, line got wrapped around his body because this is all curly. Oh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Start all over. We just started and we gotta start over again. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay guys, there we go. Show it to you down here. It's my Traco. <sighs> well now, <sighs> there's another real nice one out there. Another real nice. Boom. It's gonna come right down to him. Oh, he came over to the right. That was a perfect cast, and he started roaming <laughs> to the right. Let's see. Boom. That's close. That's close. Oh. Now, this one, it looks pretty much the same. It's just a different wing material I used in the first one. This one's more of like a Z-Line wing. And the other one, the first one I was using, was a poly wing. And they're both light dawn, light gray color. Almost white, but it's got a little bit of gray to it. And I don't think, it definitely won't make a difference when they start feeding good. But now that they're feeding kind of slow, they can inspect it. And like I said, they're not into their feeding frenzy yet. So it's probably why those last, these last two refusals or misses could have been part of it. Okay guys, I put the poly wing black spinner back on again. So let's go with that. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, geez, there's two or three of them right here in front of me. Oh, there he is. Man, he can Oh, geez, I picked it up as soon as he... See if you come. They came up from the. They're not hanging under the surface. They're on the bottom. They're coming up from the. They're coming up from the bottom. There he goes. Oh, missed him. Jeez. That, they weren't. That wasn't a big one. But let's just see. This guy's coming down. Now that guy is stung. I had him on for a second. I felt his weight. Hmm. Jeez, this is the morning of misses. There he goes. Got him. Got him. He came up real slow for it. I, th I don't know, but I think this might be. Oh, it got off. Oh, my gosh. Got off, got off, got off. See, they're just nipping it. And that's pretty typical for trico fishing. I mean, you just... They'll come up and hit it, but they'll just nip it. So, don't think you're doing anything wrong. He wasn't bad. He was about 11 inches. Um, but it looked like he looked like he was. That was one of our wild brownies. I don't think this guy's gonna. I'm gonna throw up here again. This guy. Okay guys, these fish are rising just teeny, 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 tiny temples in this foam line. 
I've had luck with them many times, but they've, they've humbled me many times too. <laughs> and uh, what happens with this foam line is this side of the foam line still has the current. That side of the foam line is uh, calmer. And trying to get a good drift in there is not always the easiest, but we're gonna try. Cause you gotta try. So let's see what we do here. Boom. Oh, oh, geez, it came up and took the first cast. Boom. Oh, there he goes again. Took the second cast. <laughs> Thankfully, there's enough fish out there that I don't have to go after the same ones. Come on, where are you at? This one's right here on this side. Boom. This one's gonna come down. Oh, jeez. There he, there he goes. Can I hold on? Hold on, hold on, hold on to that. Don't let it go. He's not a big one. About 11 inches. Okay. But we landed one out of three. <laughs> There's that trachea right in the side of his mouth. There he is. Is that okay? Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm using, I'm trying to see if you can see it here, a hackle trico, just with a grizzly hackle, dark black body, size 22, well, 22, 24. Let's see if this guy comes up again. A little short. Boom. That's not bad. Fine behind me. Boom. Oh, there he goes. Oh, missed him. I'm saying man I am missing those buggers I am missing them go back out here for these guys hmm I don't know if they would take the caddis. There you go. Got him. Oh, <laughs> off again. <laughs> so we're one for four. Oh my gosh.
too much line out. Boom. There he goes. Oh, I missed him. He came up with the caddis. <sighs> Jeez. <laughs> Gotta love this sport. Really test your patience. Yeah, the past couple days I've done well on the Tully with uh, Tricos and Caddis, but they are just getting, I don't, they're just getting real picky. And when they are taking it, they're just barely nipping it. Man, if I catch 10 or 15, I miss 30. <laughs> Big, I don't know if it's a rainbow or brownie, but he's 17, 18 inches out there, and he's not rising for anything. So I just put on a single, single glow bug. Let's see if we can get this boy. Just, I see him out there. Boom. See if he comes over for it. Well, he actually came over for it, but he didn't mouth it. So let's see if he does it again. Here he comes, here he comes. Here he got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him, got him, got him. I saw him come right over for it. Oh, he got off. <sighs> It's a story of my life. Ah, big boy. Ay, 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 ay. Where is the same exact fish? Oh, well, that's a trout. That's a trout. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Whatever. Easy come, easy go. 
quick quick release it's okay well come on come on fishy boom that's it right there there you got him okay so let's see if I can hold on to this one so I think I landed I think I hooked in the four fish and landed one <laughs> the polywing trico just an upright man come on stay on stay on stay on inches maybe a little over 12 but he's so man is he fat okay let me get him out oh and right over his head oh no that was a wrong fly boom This one isn't the big one, but this one's decent. Oh, got off. Hey, yay, 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 yay. Hey, yay, 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 yay. <sighs> Trico fishing. That's Trico fishing. That's Trico fishing. That's Trico fishing. Okay, guys. Put on the CDC caddis, tan caddis. If you guys can see it here, okay. Oh, size 20. Uh, see if he comes up and takes a caddis. There's two of them feeding me out here, now. two or three. Decent fishy. Oh, 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 he's under a rock. He's under a rock. He's got me hooked around the rock. Can you believe that? He is hooked around a rock. Look at it, he's right here. I got him hooked. But it's my my line is around the rock. Are you freaking kidding me? What the heck? There he goes. There he goes. Got him. Jeez, I had to come out and get him. I said, that's a decent fishy. He stayed on. Wow, 7X. I can't believe he stayed on. He's got a buggered up gill. Unless the line is wrapped around him. Come on, you went through all that and stayed on to get you in here. Oh, jeez. Come on, come on. I can't believe that line got wrapped around this rock right here. Nice brownie. Nice brownie. Oh, 
I want to say brownie is probably a big rainbow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get over here. There he is. No, it's a brownie. It's a nice brownie. Oh, look at that. That is one of our wild brownies. Look at that. That boy is 15, 16 inches. And, oh, oh, oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. No, he's not a, he's a stocky. He's a stocky, just a pretty gold, golden bronze stocky. Look at that. Huh. Mm. He was 15, 16 inches all day, man. Nice. It's right here. Two guys over there still rising right against the bank. They did not want the caddis, but let's see if they'll take. I got... Oh, I got him. See, they took the uh, Trico spinner. Not a big one, but I got him. There's another one following him. But. Okay, so we got this guy, another brownie. This one's little. I thought that other one was a wild one. It wasn't, but this one's one of our wild ones. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that. Made about nine inches. Okay. So, we got the one. Show you here. This is a poly wing. Traco spinner. Ah, the wings are just messed up right now because just caught them. Let's see down here. There you go. Okay. Okay, you guys. I was going to nymph. I cut off my 6X. I got 5X on. And this guy started rising again. So I put the caddis, CVC caddis back on. And I'm only going to take a couple casts, but you never know. I, mean, I wish I had the 7X back on, but I cut it off already. Boom, right there. Oh, got him, got him. Look at that, he took it. Oh my gosh, he took it. <laughs> That's what the camera's for. <laughs> That's a decent fishy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's when you're glad to have the camera. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, I'm, since he's a decent fish, I'm kind of glad I got the 5X on. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's a strong boy. He's a strong boy. And rainbows fight so much better than the browns, at least here on the Tully. Most places, too. You got a nice, big, fat, heavy rainbow. Oh my gosh. There he is, right there. Come on, boy. 
was awesome. That was awesome. Drag you over, drag you over, drag you over. Nice. Look how big that boy. Good 14 inches. Fat, 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 fat. Got him on top. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. Okay, guys. At least for this part of the creek, my dry fly fishing's done. Look at the creek, how dirty it just got. They're doing construction up above about a half a mile. And I guess they got the front end load or something in the water because it's coming. It just instantly turned, I don't want to say chocolate because the sun's on it, but it's almost like chocolate. Um, so we're going to head upstream and see if we can get in above the construction and see if we can get into any fishies up there for you guys, okay? Okay. See out near that big rock? Oh, geez, there was just a bunch of fish rising out there. This cloud, I walked downstream and this, it didn't get dirty down here yet because how slow the stream's moving. So, man, there was a whole bunch of fish feeding down here. <laughs> there was at least six fish. There's one. I guess I'm not going to try to get any closer. There's a slight wind upstream. I don't know if you saw that cast there before it landed, it blew upstream. That was a that was a good cast. Got him! 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 Long distance. Long distance. This is on the spinner. Nice fish. Nice fish. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Man, he is just pulling. Where the heck are you going? Oh, jeez. <sighs> Oh, he took my fly. Son of a... Mm. What the heck? They get out that far. When they get out really far, I don't know if it's the... torque or whatever of the... Like, he got out real far, then he turned and went out. Like, the... the, the uh, I couldn't get the line up out of the water to fight him, so there was extra stress on it from from all that line underneath the water and he just broke it. But um, I can't do anything about that. I have to let him run. And uh, you know, trying to get the line up out of the water, you're putting stress on 7X and oh, good golly, that was a, man, that was a good 14, 15 inch brownie. Oh well. Let's get out there again. Hey guys, look how dirty it is now. It finally caught up to me. But those guys are still rising out there. So I put on a size that's one bigger. This is more like a true 22. The other one was a 22 short shank, which more looked like a more looked like a 24. But this is just one size bigger with all this dark stuff coming down. Let's see if we can still connect with these guys here. Uh, boom. So let's see. He's 
coming right down though, right down though, right down though. Oh, man, he took it. I missed him. Or he missed it or turned away from it or whatever. There he is. He's way out there. Boom. Oh, that's good. Ah, I put it past him. That's close to 20 yards. So we're getting those long distance boys. In this dirty water. Uh, he's not that big, this one. The first one we had was beautiful. Nice brownie though, nice brownie. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get him out. Okay guys, that is my morning here on the Tully. Um, at least trico fishing. Um, uh, we basically fished up until they were starting to do construction on the stream, up, uh, upstream, and uh, was bringing down all that chocolatey water and just shut the fish down. So temperatures were good this morning. I think the flow was somewhere in the 80s, which is super low, but the flow was 64 degrees to start the day with. So, um, I mean, we got in, I think, I mean, at least three and a half hours of fishing. I think we fished till about 9.30. And then I was just looking around and scouting and looking for things, but uh, I came upstream, was going to nymph for a little bit, and I was like, eh. I had, actually, they knocked the flow even lower, so I'm like, I forget this. So, um, hey, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And, you know, sometimes you got to go down to 8X. Um, I started out with 8X, broke one off. I don't, I don't know if I broke, maybe I broke two off with the, where I, when I set the hook, I just I broke it off, but... Um, I'm looking over there at a deer in the woods. You can't, if I turn around and show you, there's a deer walking through the woods. And, um, uh, but then I went to 7X and we were okay with 7X. I think I got one on the caddis and everything else on different, different types of, of, uh, of, uh, trichos. I had upright trichos. Um, I had spinners. I had some of the females and females. I, I still this year haven't been that really that lucky with the females for whatever reason, I don't know, but uh, the regular male's all black, um, been doing better on, and um, so we're hitting, coming into a drought now, so it may, we may be, I might be done fishing, maybe I'll run up to the Delaware, and at least there's, you know, it's low up there too, but at least it's super cold water, you're in the 50s up in the Delaware, at least the, the West Branch. So uh, probably even up high on, on the East Branch too, but I'll probably just stick to the West Branch and and uh hope maybe i'll maybe i'll get a video for you up there too okay so i'm going to be going up there in august for a whole week but i don't know what conditions are like because we need rain <laughs> we need rain bad so i might have to put the rod away for a while and get my bow out and start practicing for early archery season here in pa so um thank you very much guys for watching and i will i don't know where the next video is coming from we need we need water we need cold water and we just need some serious rain so pray for rain okay talk to you guys later thanks bye